Good morning, Mountain Hoover's Church. God is so good. Um, you know, if, if you were here when we began this series, we began in the old room, in the old sanctuary, and here we are today, wrapping this series up in the new sanctuary. The last service that we had, I told you guys that that's what God wants to do in your life. That day, I'll never forget the one day when everybody showed up on Monday and stuff started getting ripped out and tore up. That's what God wants to do. He wants to take that old junk. He wants to rip it out. He wants to tear it up. And he wants to do something new in your life and in my life. And as we're sitting in this new sanctuary, let it be a symbol of what God wants to do in you. He wants to do something new. He wants to do something new in you. Scripture says, old things. Say old things. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things become new. Old things are passed away. They're wiped away. They're erased. They're gone. You may have come to this place this morning and you might have brought some baggage with you, but I can tell you you're in God's house now and you can leave it right here. Because God wants to just wipe it away and give you a fresh new start. You say, well, Pastor, what if I mess up again? Let me just tell you right now, you are going to mess up. It might happen before you leave. <laughs> it's going to happen. But this is the perfect church for imperfect people. We are so grateful for God's grace, so grateful that He takes the old things, wipes them away, and behold, He makes all things new. And if you want to experience something new in your life this year in 2020, that's what this series has been all about, is expecting God to do something new, exciting, and to fulfill really what it is that He wants for our lives and not what we want. It's about perspective. See, if you keep doing the old things, you're going to continue to get the same results that you've been getting. But if you want things to change, you need to invite God to bring in the new. You've got to take on a brand new perspective. And so today, we're wrapping up this series that we've been calling 2020 Vision. And today's message is entitled, From God's Perspective. So this morning, you have your word going. around 
and he would see the host of God's angel army on the outskirts. But his servant couldn't see that. And so Elisha, Elisha prays a simple prayer. He says, God, open my servant's eyes so that he may see. And look what happens in this verse. He goes on to say, did the Lord open the servant's eyes? And he looked and he saw the hill full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Around his church, we see this song that's called Surrounded. And that's where this passage comes from. That song was written about this passage. So
It's not about me. It's not about you. I know that's not a great message that you want to hear this morning, but I'm just going to tell you, if you want to reach the very depths of God's heart, if you want to get in tune with what God is all about, He is all about helping hopeless, hurting people. He wants you to see people the way He sees them. How do you see them? See, when Jesus saw the people, it says, and this is point number two, he saw them with compassion. There was no judgment. There was no criticism for where they were and the mess they were in. I mean, don't raise your hand, but in a crowd this big, there's some messes in this house. There's some of us that may not want the person next to us to realize we have a mess going on. But regardless of whether you have Jesus or not, you can tell the mess going on in your life right now. You might be married to a mess, or you might be raising a couple messes. You know what I'm saying? And I think it, it is so amazing when you see the 
leans back and he puts away his own pain for a moment. And he sees the people with compassion. That compassion moves him to do something. It moves him to action. Robbie, well, Steve, can I see your glasses, please? I meant to bring mine, but I left them in the office. Let's see how blind you are. Dang, bro.
us to see a vision of, of your house, God, being filled with hurting people, but also let us get to work. Send us out to the north, south, east, and west, God, to share the hope that is within us. With heads bowed and eyes closed, you might be in this place. And I was talking about you earlier in the message. When we were talking about sheep without a shepherd, that nothing can protect them. And maybe you've been like that sheep, you've been running and running and running and running, and you're so far out. I want to tell you the shepherd is here, the shepherd is in the house, and he loves you so much. Make today the day that you take those old things and you just wipe them away with the blood of Jesus and allow him to make all things new. You can do that by saying, God, forgive my sins. Cleanse my heart. I believe that Jesus is the Son of the living God. I confess Jesus as Lord of my life. If you will do that, you can be saved. And I hope you'll do that right now. Heads bowed, eyes closed. That's why I encourage you, if you hear the sound of my voice and you're sensing this knocking on your heart's door, that's God saying, come to me, all of you who are weak and weary, broken, like that sheep, I will give you rest. If that's you, you raise your hand in this place. No one's looking around. Come on. Come on. I see your hand. I see your hand. Come on. Anybody else today? Anybody else today? Jesus. Come on. I see your hand over there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I see your hand, brother. Anybody else today? I see your hand in the back. Thank you. Anybody else? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now let's just pray. We pray as a church because we're not going to leave you hanging right here. When you make this decision, we're going to do this thing called life in the ditches with you. So let's pray this prayer. Father, please forgive me of my sins. Jesus is the Son of God. I confess Him as Lord of my life. Now help me to see my life and to see other people through your eyes from God's perspective. In Jesus' name. Everybody say it. Thanks for joining us today. We sincerely hope the message impacted your life. Stay connected with us by following us online, or you can find us on Facebook. If you would like to partner with us financially, we have a few easy ways to give. You can text your giving to 77977 and simply type in MMC and follow the prompts. Or you could find us online at www.mountainmoverschurch.org and click the Give Now tab. Or you could simply mail your giving in to 24000 South 660 Road, Grove, Oklahoma, 74344. We are a church leading people into a real and life-changing relationship with Jesus Christ that is contagious. We look forward to seeing you next week.